Good evening, my love. <sighs> How did you sleep? <laughs> like a rock, eh? <laughs> Good to hear. You know, it's amazing how much better I've been sleeping since I've started sharing my bed with you. Now I know why. No matter how much sleep I got, I never felt replenished when I woke up. It's because one person alone couldn't fill this bed. It's because I needed someone to hold me close. Someone to stay up late with and talk to. Someone to... Well, let's say... Have fun with. <laughs> oh yes, have fun all night long. <laughs> oh, did I forget to undo those handcuffs on your wrist? <laughs> oh, my poor baby, having to spend the whole night locked up to the bedpost. Here, let me take those things off. Did you enjoy that game we tried last night? <laughs> Good. We'll have to try it again sometime. Oh. Hmm. Is your wrist scuffed up? Here. Let me see. Better? Good. <sighs> Damn. I don't know how I ever got by without you here. It's not just your blood, darling. It's everything about you. It's your fingers intertwined through mine. It's your hands, holding me close. Your arms, wrapped around me. It's your shoulders, for me to rest my head on. <laughs> it's your lips, for me to kiss. It's your eyes for me to gaze into. It's everything about you. Everything about you is perfection. And God help anyone who says otherwise. You know, I don't think I ever asked you, darling. Did you ever have any enemies? Oh, come on now. You must have had someone you despised. No childhood bullies? No? There were never any preppy cliques or asshole jocks from high school that you truly loathed? No? There was never a tough grading college professor who gave you a failing grade on an important test? No. 
Hmm. Come on now. There must have been someone you hated from your past. Oh, I know. Your old boss from where you used to work. It was around the time when I first started feeding on you. What was his name? Mr. Mr. Milton. Oh, I remember the awful way he used to treat you. That man was downright satanic. So, what can I do to him that would make you happy? Oh, come on, baby. I could kidnap him and bring him down here. And then you could tell me all the terrible things you'd want me to do to him. No. Well, why not? He treated you terribly. And no one treats my darling terribly. He needs to pay, and he needs to pay dearly. Think about all the methods I could try on him. You remember those punishments I gave you so long ago? Those are child's play compared to what I have in mind. I'm thinking that I could perhaps... Hey, come on now. Why are you trembling? Shh. Shh. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Oh, look at you. My poor, terrified baby. You know how I feel, looking back, about giving you those punishments. I thought they were necessary at the time. <sighs> but if I had known the ways it would scar your mind, I can't believe I was so foolish. I can't believe I let myself do those things to you. I thought I was disciplining you, just giving you a tap on the wrist. <laughs> no wonder you were never eager to see me. I was torturing you. God, look what I've done to you. It's like I've given you PTSD. Oh God, what have I done? <laughs> Darling, I... I'm so, so sorry for all that I've done to you. From the punishments, to leaving you in a state of constant paranoia, even to feeding without your consent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You forgive me. Thank you, my love. What did I do to deserve someone like you? <laughs> Let me see your arm. The one that I... that I stabbed. There. 
one for each time I hurt you. And then there's the brand. Darling, I know how much that must have hurt you. But out of everything I've done to you, this is the one thing I don't regret. I know how awful that must sound, but it's true. Think about it. With that mark on your back, all others of my kind will know that you're spoken for. Just imagine if you didn't have it, and someone stole you away from me. They would have no way of knowing who they're truly dealing with. But with that brand, they'll know perfectly well what sort of mess they got themselves into. The second they saw my crest burnt into your back, why, they'd be tripping over themselves to return you to me. They'd be begging me not to exact revenge on them for trying to harm someone I loved. And you know what? They would receive no mercy from me. I would put them through so much pain and misery that they would be begging me to grant them the sweet release of death. And because they chose to hurt you, I wouldn't give it to them. Not for a long while, at least. <laughs> you know what I... No. What we would do to them? I would have you choose what I would do to them. I'd let you choose the methods, the tools, and the corresponding body parts. Would you like that, my love? Hmm. You'd rather no one came to any harm. <laughs> You're such a kind soul. Oh, the world of vampires would eat you alive. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about ever getting hurt. Like I said, you've got that mark on your back protecting you. You've got that mark on your back protecting you. So long as you've got that, everyone will know that you are mine. <sighs> hmm. Where are you going? Outside? <laughs> no. Not while the sun is up. Hmm. Come on. Stay in bed with me. We can go outside together when it's dark out. <laughs> oh, darling, that was years ago. How long are you going to hold the whole not using anesthetic when branding you thing over me? Forever, huh? <laughs> well, oh, I suppose you can go outside for a little while. I know how hard it must be to not feel the warmth of the sun on your skin for so long. I even find myself missing it sometimes. Hmm. Oh, wait. Before you go. Would you mind... 
Would it be all right if I feed? I must admit, I'm feeling rather peckish at the moment. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Come here. Now just tilt your head back. There you go. You ready? Okay. Got you. <sighs> like I said, my love, I don't know how I got by on ordinary blood before I met you. <clears throat> you still feel strong enough to venture outside? <laughs> All right. I trust your judgment. Just don't forget your goodbye kiss. <laughs> goodbye, my love. Be safe. This script was written by Kyle R.